Chicago, I know there are a lot of aspiring models in the city, and so this segment is especially for you. You're trying to figure out how to get the best photos, how to get the best photographer, what you need to look for. I'm here today with premier Chicago photographer, Flint Cheney, and he is going to hook up the information, and I'm gonna pretend to be a model for a second. Back up that wall for me a little bit right there. That's great. Just give me some right there for now. What types of photos should a model make sure she has in her portfolio? Like headshots? Are there any other varieties that you think should definitely be included? A combination between natural lighting, studio lighting. You want to have different looks. You want to have a lot of options. I would also suggest go through fashion magazines tear those pages out, and then you have an idea. Practice those poses, and then you can convey that to the photographer. Anything that should not be in a portfolio, like nudes or beauty shots or anything that you think people should avoid starting out? It depends on what they're doing. If they're trying to do something in Ellie Magazine or something that's more home style, like Sears or anything like that, then you have to stay away from a lot of risque shots and things like that. Okay, great, I think we're done here. So why don't we take a look at some of these pictures yes, and see how good you look? the fun part. Just kind of check out every 10. Ooh, my legs look good on that one. Okay, so now I want to switch up the look. What are you thinking? Beauty shot? Beauty. Okay. Yes, let's go beauty. All right. All righty, let's do this. We just did something very natural. Um, we did a new lip with a little sparkle in there to help her sparkle a little more. So Flint, if you're looking for models to work with, how do you find them? Do you troll Instagram? Are you looking on Model Mayhem? Or where is your go-to source for new talent? I work with agencies. Sometimes I street cast. I, I talk to people, you know, I've walked up to people before and said, hey, I'm a photographer. But when I do that, I make sure I'm super professional. I make sure I have my portfolio already on my phone, my card, just so, you can establish that I am real deal. All right, they don't I'm think you're not, some weirdo. Right, yeah. <laughs> some guy that's trying to hit on you because it's easy to be mistaken for someone like that. Straight for me. So how do you feel about Instagram and how it's changed the game for photography? A lot of people think that they're photographers using the iPhones and stuff like that. How do you feel about that? Well, I think Instagram is a good thing for photography. Before, I didn't think so. I think a lot of people are photographers, but they're not a trained eye. There's a difference between that. What I do on Instagram is unlike anything that you'll see in my portfolio. Gotcha. <laughs> So we just finished up some beauty shots. Flint, you were awesome to work with. Thanks so much for having us Thank today. You. Aspiring models, if you're looking for a dope photographer to work with, make sure you look this guy up. Flint Cheney, he can help get your portfolio where it needs to be. Advertising agencies, look him up if you want to work with a dope photographer.